Welcome back to the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Today, I'm going to talk about the benefits of Kratom. There seems to be a lot of false information on the internet, which I wanted to help clarify. The reason for this false information is because Big Pharma doesn't stand to benefit from these effective, all-natural remedies. So, they publish negative articles in an effort to discredit the benefits of Kratom. So let me start by giving you a list of benefits that I've been experiencing with Kratom. Number one, low mood improvement. Number two, improved focus and mental clarity. Number three, it relieves tension, relaxes me, and calms my nerves. Number four, increased energy and motivation. And number five, a sense of euphoria. So regarding this sense of euphoria, after having struggled for about the past 15 years, I recently decided to adopt a new philosophy on life. That philosophy is this. It takes happy moments to have a happy day, as long as you're doing it in a healthy way. So if I need to pop off with a little kratom in order to have a good day, then that's what I'm going to do. Now let me show you how I prefer to consume the kratom powder. I like to make it with a hot green tea and using a hot beverage is essential. Kratom is really powdery and chalky and it does not really mix with a cold beverage. So I take a shot glass and fill it about two thirds of the way full with my hot tea. Today I'll be using the white elephant kratom from Cat's Botanicals. And I actually put my kratom in these smaller containers. It's just easier to handle when I'm trying to measure out a level teaspoon. So the dosage that I've been using is two teaspoons, which is 4.8 grams of kratom. And we'll talk about dosage guidelines later. So two teaspoons is what we're looking for. All right, level teaspoon, dump it in. And I like to wait for the kratom to get completely uh, liquefied in this shot glass. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. It kind of sits on the top. It is really powdery, really chalky. This is why I do it in a shot glass. I just like to throw it back and be done with it. All right, and then I like to mix it up because it'll get really clumpy and it'll kind of sit on the bottom. So I just use a little um, screwdriver head is all I use, really. All right, now it's nice and wet. Just got to mix it up and throw it back. So this little tool here helps me to scrape it off the bottom and get rid of all those clumps in there. And I like to take my time, stir it up for about 10 seconds. And then literally, I just throw it back to the back of my throat and swallow it. You don't really want to get this stuff in your mouth because it's so powdery it gets in your teeth and you'll be rinsing your mouth out forever. So throw it back, get it all the way back there and just chug it. Boom, it's the best way to do it, trust me. Just showing you that we got it all. And uh, once again, that was the White Elephant Kratom Powder from Cat's Botanicals. We'll talk more about that later. Many people have never even heard of Kratom. So let's talk about some of the specifics. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the definition of kratom is a psychoactive preparation that is composed of the crushed or powdered dried leaves of a yellow-flowered tropical tree, Mitragyna speciosa, of southeastern Asia, and that is smoked or ingested orally, as in tea or capsules. Kratom contains alkaloids, which produce stimulatory effects at low doses and sedative effects at high doses. Kratom takes effect after five to 10 minutes and its effects last two to five hours. The effects of Kratom become stronger as the quantity taken increases. As some of you may know, there are three different strains of Kratom and they each offer their own unique benefits. I think CFAH.org summarizes it best. Number one is the green vein strain. 
they list this as the best overall strain. In general, green strains are the best all-arounders in terms of effects. They're energizing, calming, euphoric, and sedating. It all just depends on the dose. Most people who have anxiety settle for a good grain strain like green melee. Once the right dose is worked out, these strains provide reliable mood boosting effects when you need them. Number two are the red vein strains, best for anxiety. Red vein kratom is the most sedative and painkiller of the bunch. Higher doses of this kratom are usually best for people with chronic pain or those who want strong sedative and euphoric effects. This strain is not ideal for people suffering from depression who feel like their inability to self-motivate is a key driver of their condition. Number three are the white vein strains. These are best for depression. White vein kratom is the most stimulating in lower doses and the most euphoric in higher doses. Even high doses of white vein kratom aren't going to carry the same sedative effects as red strains or some green strains. This is a good option for people who feel depressed and unmotivated because it provides both euphoria and energy boosting effects. Now let's talk about the dosage. In general, the dose of kratom is between 2 and 12 grams. So one teaspoon is equal to 2.4 grams. So when you saw me prepare that shot glass earlier in the video, that was a 4.8 gram dose. So let's go through these really quickly. The general kratom dosage guidelines. So the dose for energy boost and stimulation is typically one to three grams. The dose for increased stimulation is three to five grams. The dose for pain relief and mild euphoria, four to six grams. The dose for sedating and euphoric effects is six to eight grams. Doses over eight grams can be incredibly overwhelming for newer users. Beginners should always start with lower doses between one and three grams. You can see how it affects you and judge how you might want to add your, to your next dose, if any. All right, now let's talk about the pricing. So I've tried three different types of Kratom and I will just go ahead and show you in order what I've purchased and what it cost me. So the first one I started out with is from Cat's Botanicals, this white elephant strain. This is a 500 gram bag, which is uh, 208 servings in this bag. So I will provide the links to all of these uh, websites in the description of this video, but let's talk about it really quickly. So that bag cost me uh, $70. That's the full price. Almost all of these companies offer uh, promo codes, discounts, coupons, and I was able to get 10% off on that bag right there. So the cost per serving in the White Elephant from Cat's Botanicals comes out to 34 cents per serving. Now let's talk about the Happy Hippo. So the Happy Hippo actually offers free samples. This is the Green Vein strain. And uh, because they do such a good job with their marketing, and my buddy actually told me about them and they offer their free samples, that is why I purchased the Happy Hippo. I wanted to try a different strain. Um, this one's quite pricey. This is also a 500 gram bag, which is 208 servings. The full price is $145, which is a, a double of what Cat's Botanicals was. I was able to get 20% off on that bag and the cost per serving comes out to 70 cents per serving. Now the next one is a little bit different. These are actually tablets. So this is from a, uh, Etha Natural Botanicals. This bag is 250 tablets right here, um, which is just over 30 servings. So I'll show you the tablets really quick. Um, eight tablets is one serving. And it is nice because, because you don't have to prepare that powder. So you can see there are uh, these little tablets right here. And online they talk about making a tea out of them, blah, blah, blah. 
I just swallow them as if you're taking medicine. Um, it's the easiest way for me. Um, so you take eight of these. Let's talk about the pricing really quick. Um, those are called the full spectrum Kratom tablets. I bought two bags, so I got a total of 500 tablets, which was uh, 62 and a half servings. Got that for $80. I was able to get a 25% off promo code with them, but the cost per serving is quite high, $1.28. So the convenience is that you don't have to prepare the powder, um, but the flip side is that it, it is quite expensive. I really enjoy all three of these, and to be honest with you, um, I'm gonna tell you that the White Elephant has been my favorite. My doctor recommended the White Elephant strain, and it happens to be the cheapest, and um, so I would really highly recommend Cat's Botanicals and try the White Elephant if you've never tried Kratom before. Now, let's talk about why do I take Kratom. So the road that led me to try and Kratom is a little bit of a crazy one, uh, but I think that a lot of you can relate to my journey, my struggles, and my desire to find happiness. So I'm currently 44 years old. The first 29 years of my life were completely amazing, as I remember it, followed by 15 years of struggles, which I'm currently coming out of right now. So here's what happened. In September of 2007, I had a mini stroke and fell into a coma. I came out of the coma with a minor speech impairment, which I recovered from fairly quickly. What the doctors discovered is that I had a three quarters of an inch chunk of bacteria that collected on my mitral valve. So that following Monday on October 1st, 2007, they performed open heart surgery on me, a mitral valve repair. This was actually the same exact day as the grand opening of my coffee shop in Grand Rapids, Michigan. To make a long story short, I ran that coffee shop for about four years until I got severely overwhelmed with stress and simply burned out. My family was nice enough to take over the coffee shop while I pursued a marketing degree at Oakland University. This was an amazing time in my life, but was also extremely stressful for me. In December of 2013, I reached a low point and actually attempted suicide. Shortly after that, I was diagnosed with adrenal fatigue, which took about four years for me to overcome. So as you can see, for the last 15 years, life hasn't been fun for me. Life is tough. I've learned to find enjoyment and fulfillment, but it takes work. For this reason, I don't believe in procreation and don't plan to have any kids of my own. I tell you all of this because I'm assuming you can relate to having struggles, waking up day after day, searching for my place in this world, and attempting to enjoy the journey. My most recent doctor's visit was two months ago. My issue was severe irritability, brain fog, and a lack of motivation. I was quite simply just waking up in a bad mood and hating life. I've been going to an alternative medicine clinic for my health concerns. I really like their more natural approach to health and healing. This is where I learned about Kratom. I've been taking it for about five weeks and so far I'm loving it. Yesterday morning I went for a four and a half mile hike. I got home around noon and didn't feel like doing anything. I wanted to be motivated, if that makes sense, but it just wasn't there. So I decided to take two servings of Kratom to improve my mood. About 20 minutes later, I came up with the idea for this video, and just 10 minutes after that, I was actually writing the script for it. So this leads me to the final part of this video. Does Kratom offer any long-term benefits? And this is a question that I would like to propose to you. I don't know the answer to that. It offers short-term benefits, um, it seems like with the alkaloids getting into my system, it would provo provide long-term benefits, but it's really hard to find out any reliable information with all the false information on the internet. So if you've been taking Kratom for a year or two years, I would love for you to post a comment in the comment section of this video and let me know, um, are there any long-term benefits? Are there any long-term effects, maybe negative effects? Who knows? I don't know. But that's all I've got for you today. 
Thanks for watching the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time.